Welcome to the informational webinar about the Diploma in Digital Marketing. We use this webinar tool. Um, let me introduce ourselves first. Uh, my name is Mary Thomas. Um, I run Concise Training. We have been using um, social media and digital marketing ourselves and teaching businesses and individuals to use it since 2009. And boy, has it changed since then. Um, we also have a C Concise Digital, which is our sister company, who um, we implement what we're teaching. So we, we practically use it and we bring a lot of that practical knowledge into the training to make sure that the training is completely kept up to date. And I'll let Di introduce herself. Thanks, so Mary. Yes, my name is Di Dawson and uh, I've been in business for, well, over 15 years, I would say. Um, I've, I've been delivering training, um, but certainly been working with Mary for quite a long time, haven't we, Mary? Um, whether that's involved in social media training, uh, marketing training, or other types of training. Um, and um, I'm a trainer and assessor on this program. Thank you. Right, we're going to turn our webcams off at this stage because um, the bandwidth is a little bit easier to cope with. So. So, what makes us different? Um, there are lots of digital marketing courses and diplomas out there. Um, so, why do ours? Well, City and Girls asked us to become involved in the development of this course and the social media diploma four, four six years ago. Um, it's an approved and recognised qualification. And as many of you might know, City and Girls is a brand known around the world. In fact, it was the first awarding body to listen to employers' demands for a qualification that recognises the skills and understanding required to use social media within the marketing of a business. The diploma does look at developing your understanding about topics, but we make the delivery practical and relevant to the real world, and particularly the small to medium-sized business world. The programme consists of practical tasks to ensure learners are putting your new learning into practice. It's a portfolio based course, so there is no exam at the end. We really don't believe it should be a memory test. All our materials and resources are kept up to date. Every six months, we update all the materials to keep pace with the ever changing world of social media. We update these webinars every time we run them. And every month, Mary releases an update document to all learners, giving the latest news and changes to any of the social channels and tools. We offer great support. We talk about support later, but we pride ourselves in giving really constructive feedback that is relevant to the learner's situation and context. And we have qualified assessors and a quality assurance process that ensures we remain consistent in our delivery and assessment. We have excellent um, quality reports from City and Girls. So in this webinar, we aim to show you details about the programme and an overview of key outcomes. We'll talk about the training and learning element of this 15 month program. And we also outline how you provide us evidence of what you know, what you can do, and how you're gonna receive our feedback. We hope to answer some of the questions you may well have in mind, um, but do let us know after you've watched this webinar, whether you have any other questions. The digital marketer can have a wide reaching responsibilities and be expected to take on a number of key roles within a business. They may be quite involved in social media marketing for the business, developing strategies to increase numbers of visitors to the website. They may even be creating images and content for the website and for social channels and writing regular blogs. Some digital marketers might work within a team supporting the digital marketing campaigns or other marketing projects. Some might take on the sole responsibility of digital marketing for a business. So here is a brief overview of all the topics we cover within the digital Diploma for Digital Marketing course. Some of these roles you're bound to be doing currently in your job as a digital marketer. You may find you have other roles, um, or you may find you have roles that you have not been asked to undertake yet. So Di is going to talk through some of these roles in more detail. Thanks, Emily. Well, yes. You're going to be expected to have a business to work with, either your own or access to one, because we find this qualification is best learned by practical implementation of what we're teaching you, both with 
respect to using the channels, as well as thinking about your target audience, your buyer personas, business mission statements and values, and so on. However, we do realise that not everybody is going to be able to use the channels of the business they work with, so we're flexible as much as possible and propose a number of options. So you might want to uh, see if a friend or charity has a business you could work on during this course, or you could set up an ideal business that you would like to set up eventually and use that as an example. Some people, for example, set up a social media consultancy so they can show us you know, their, their practice. Or you could use a combination of the business you're working with to answer perhaps some questions about audience and mission statements, competition and so on, but actually show us evidence of using the channels using your own, own private accounts. Now, we're going to be asking to examine the business, but we also ask you to examine competitors, other businesses, and respond to a number of scenarios. And we examine how to develop relationships with customers and suppliers and influencers and stakeholders so that they know about the business and what value it provides. Now, in the e-learning material, we present to you various scenarios, such as Hillary's hairdressing salon, Kevin's sports shop, Des's events management, Tim's virtual assistant business, and a whole lot more. And in each webinar, we look at Fred. Fred is the bottom left image. He has a business that is an organic farm shop in Oxfordshire. And what we do is we find out about his business in each webinar. And these scenarios and our explanations really do help our learners. Now, over the next few slides, we show an, in an orange box the relevant standards, the sitting guild standards within the qualification. And at induction, you're going to have access to all the criteria if you wish to read them all. And to accompany the topic, we, we then introduce you to access to the e-learning materials. And those are the suggested around the topics are in the purple box on the slides. And so, for example, when we look at business, you will have an introduction to business e-learning module to work through. Now, of course, we're also going to be looking at the principles of marketing. You'll be shown models to help provide um, you know, and produce various strategies and also documents for the business. So you'll look at the business's marketing strategy, for example, and carry out a marketing audit. You're going to determine what marketing needs to be carried out and find out what's working. And you're therefore you're going to be looking at measurement to determine the return on investment and consider some actions to take. So that's quite an interesting um, topic that's going to run throughout the programme. And there's going to be lots of models and methods to use. And don't worry if you're somebody who doesn't really like models and theories. We're going to try and explain and provide lots of useful templates and examples. And of course, Fred is going to be there um, in the webinars to also see how he will work through them. And one main document you're going to be producing is a social media strategy document for the business. And you're going to have a template that you will be prompted to complete at various stages throughout the course. Now we use the term digital marketing as this is the promotion of products or brands via one or more forms of electronic media and social media is one such electronic media albeit a very important one and it will be a good focus of this course. So you're going to look strategically at all the main channels and set up or review what you use and we'll see how they relate to your digital marketing strategy. You may be surprised to find a channel that you're not using already. And you're going to be making a decision about what works best for the business. So this course is ideal for anybody who uses social media already, but would certainly like to know more. And as time is precious, you're going to be introduced to various tools to help manage social media for the business. So you're not just, you know, kind of like, um, uh, you're going to be thinking about managing the followers and all the conversations that you have and also the content that you're sharing. And of course, the content that you share has got to be optimised so readers and viewers can find the content and follow your business. <clears throat> You'll want to obtain the followers' interest and maintain it with great conversations. So we look at ways of making the best out of your content that you're producing so that you can try and amplify the message to meet, reach a wider audience. 
So you can have access to, again, a number of e-learning materials and modules relevant to uh, these channels. Now, the topic of keywords is mentioned many times throughout the course, what they are, why use them, and how they're going to help the optimization process. So part of this is we're going to be looking at search engine optimization, and because that's the art of enabling your website and content to be found in search. And we also look at social media optimization, and that's the practice of enhancing and improving and customizing your social media profile so people can find your business, but it also enables um, and encourages greater engagement with your audience. And there's obviously an e-learning module connected to that particular topic. One of the main projects is to create a WordPress website with a blog. Now, you're going to look at ways to ensure the website is accessible to a wide range of web users, and you're going to plan the website to include well-designed content for the audience. So you're going to be looking at analytics to check to see if it is actually attracting visitors, where they go, what they look at, how long do they stay. And there's going to be three useful e-learning modules to support that particular product, um, that project, WordPress, blogging and analytics. But of course, the introduction to SEO is also essential to help you optimise the website. Hey, you're going to be doing creative things. So you're going to be finding out about content marketing and you've got to create a range of content such as blog posts, social media updates, graphics, video. And creating copy means developing your writing skills. So you can use different styles for different purposes. And we aim to give guidance about this if this isn't your, your strength. Of course, the content has to be optimised so readers and viewers can find the content and follow your business. It's pointless having superb content if no one can find it. You'll be using a content schedule to help manage the creation of content and the scheduling to various channels. And we look at ways to help you make the best out of the content you produce so you can amplify that message to the wider audience. As this course does require you to be in a business or have good access to one, you know, you can see if you're producing content and, and developing relationships with the audience and, and you clearly you know, you can see if it's getting some form of engagement. Um, statistics suggest that images are shared multiple times greater than content without. You could also say, say significant uh, statistics about video as well. So we stress the need for a digital marketer to understand how images can be used in social media updates, on blog content, on the website, and in digital advertising campaigns. So throughout the course, there's a chance to be creative. You're going to be producing images for your profiles, your updates, the website campaigns, and you're going to be really showing us the skill in image editing. And the same with it's amazing to, to think about the statistics about video marketing, that if you have video on your website, it can increase conversion rates by 80%. Or that 92% of mobile video consumers share videos with others. So you're going to be planning and creating a video, ideally for your business, if it's appropriate. But do bear in mind the statistics we, we show you before dismissing it, because you might not want to necessarily be that creative with video. It might be a bit of a challenge. But of course, we help and inspire you um, as you work through your images for business and video for business um, e-learning modules. And Throughout that, we look at the why use images and video as well as how used. So we're clearly going to support you if you're not particularly creative. Now, one of the other creative topics is to produce digital advertising campaigns to a target audience. So we look at the principles of advertising and sales promotion and consider the legal requirements in marketing products and services in the UK, but also worldwide. You're going to be creating email newsletters, um, a social networking parallel campaign, um, a voucher campaign, and it's certainly worth keeping an eye on campaigns throughout the programme to give you inspiration. Now, you're not going to have to actually launch the campaigns unless you want to, um, and you can create the campaign 
for the scenario that we produce or you for your own business. And I'm going to hand over to Mary, who's going to talk about the remaining aspects of the topics. Thank you, Di. So along with video, mobile marketing is increasingly becoming important and the number of people who access mobiles as opposed to desktops is increasing um, almost month on month, but certainly year on year. So you're going to have the opportunity to examine how mobile marketing fits in with your marketing strategy. You'll see what's available, what technology can offer, the limitations for mobile marketing, and you'll look at apps, including location-aware apps for marketing purposes. Content clearly needs to be optimised for mobile, so you'll compare mobile with desktop optimization. It's obviously an advantage to have a mobile device or access to devices for this task. And as you can see, there's an e-learning module looking at mobile marketing. An interesting topic and something you may not have thought about is the benefits of social bookmarking and content curation. And of course, having a good reputation is important for the business. You'll want to know who is saying what about the business. And if it does turn nasty, what plans have you got for your response? We'll ask you to consider what it means to manage your reputation online and we'll examine legal issues especially regarding the production of content. You'll be producing a risk analysis and then a plan to manage any potential crisis. And you'll also produce a social media policy for the business. All diploma learners will receive a copy of my book, Social Media Made Simple, which is currently being updated. And it contains many helpful checklists and templates. It's a reference book for you. It's a bonus for you to complete, and you can complete it throughout the course. We'll cover all most of those topics as well within the Social Media Strategy e-learning course, as well as some of the webinars. As you progress through the course, you'll be using a template of a social media strategy, and you'll complete it at various points in the programme. So in summary, some of the key outcomes from the course that you'll be able to take away Apart from your knowledge, will be a social media strategy, social media policy, search engine optimization review, a marketing audit, including competitor analysis, crisis management plan, a new website, an email newsletter campaign, a digital advertising campaign, of course, optimized social media channels, an understanding of mobile marketing, and throughout all of this, an understanding of measurement and analytics. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of content to cover over the next 15 months, but I'm sure you'll already have some knowledge and confidence about these topics already. We do hope there are gaps to fill too. So now let's look at how you'll learn. There are 19 webinars at scheduled dates, usually one every three weeks. We'll be using any meeting for the webinars, just as we are doing now. Any meeting has a mobile app. So if you need to access on an iPad or tablet, that's fine. Don't suggest you looking on a phone as you won't be able to see the slides. The purpose of the webinars is a chance to receive live input, to hear fresh material, up-to-date news about topics. And we also provide tips and advice before you start each assignment. The aim is to make sure you're well prepared to start the assignments. Attendance is mandatory live or recordings and the recording links will be shared after each webinar. We issue a schedule at induction showing the topics of each webinar and the dates. So that's 19 hours of live input. We've already talked about the e-learning modules. There are 17 e-learning modules available to you and which is well over 180 hours of learning. And you'll have access to return at any time during the course. And we also give you access for three months after your completion. In addition, we give you a, access to a monthly update document, um, which outlines all of the changes in the channels and tools. The courses are updated every six months, but this is sort of to keep you abreast of the interim updates. And it's normally about 10 pages long. 
At induction, we ask learners to start with the introduction to business e-learning module. Just so you can see what to expect, we're going to look inside the Twitter for business one. So you'll have three objects and you click a link to open an object, which will open in a new tab. Navigation is easy. There's a menu to access any slide or you can use the next and previous buttons. Another feature is you can search for keywords in the materials at the bottom of the menu, which learners find really useful if they um, are going back and want to look for a particular um, thing that they want to, to remind themselves about. We have slides that contain text, images, sound files, resources and templates to download and many activities and exercises. So here you can see a sound file that I recorded. This next slide has a scenario. Tim is the virtual assistant and these offer you a chance to note down your ideas before clicking onto a suggested answer. The scenarios encourage learners to think about the topic related to a wide number of business scenarios and not just their own business. Now, the exercises are just to reinforce your learning. They don't actually form part of the assessment, although often what we cover in the exercises, you will be asked to think about as part of the assignment. Many slides contain video. Um, the, many of the videos are instructional how to videos with myself or one of my colleagues giving instructions as we show you what to do. Many people like to watch the video on one tab and follow along in another tab side by side. The modules are suitable to access on iPad and other tablets. In theory, you could access them on a small screen, but it might be a little tricky. Our die is going to take you through the assessment process. Thanks, Mary. Yes, that's right. So we have um, a virtual classroom, an online area for you to go to on Concise Online. You are directed via the home page to a virtual classroom area and you will belong to Group F and the link will become available at induction. So you follow the link through. Now, we're going to have a peek inside Group E's area. And so there's a place where you can pick up the schedule. Um, that's going to give you the topics and assignment release, submission dates and webinar dates, as it says. But there's also a place to access a forum. And we encourage everyone to share ideas or ask questions or certainly to get to know the group. It's also a place to pick up the link to the recordings of each webinar and a place to download the assignments. And they're going to become available every time they're released. So, you know, they, they, the list will grow as each um, month passes. There are links to the e-learning areas. Um, there is a link to the e-portfolio. And uh, that link to an e-portfolio takes you to a completely new website, uh, but it's secure and it's meant for you to collect your evidence. And you get details about that at, in, at induction. So there are also links such as web links or downloadable documents which acts as further reading and this is an optional section for the virtual classroom. Now throughout the course there are 18 assignments to complete plus there are three projects and one piece of research. Now if we look at the assignments, in the assignments we will ask you um, for some short answers Mostly, it will be lengthier comments. You might be asked to complete a table, certainly respond to a scenario, give links to research sites, certainly take screen prints and so on. And we might ask you to upload other files, such as voice recordings, um, because that's an alternative to writing. We might ask you to create a slideshow. We certainly will ask you to create images and upload those. Now, the questions that we've designed are, you know, intended to draw out the full understanding of the topics and so you're going to demonstrate your knowledge and skills and when we ask for answers we might ask for a list but predominantly we want full explanation analysis comparison opinion and so on and we do expect a, a good standard of english expression and quality of work but if a question doesn't make any sense then we're always happy to rephrase um, or explain it. 
Now, you might be asked to carry out research, and that is most likely to be online, but you might need to talk to people, to talk to people in the business or others. And of course, as you progress, we're going to ask you to carry out practical tasks, which can show that you can put the theory into practice. Now, in terms of feedback, we give detailed feedback, very individual and constructive. And we give that usually as a document, but within the ePortfolio system. And we try to give a reasonably fast turnaround so that you know how well you're progressing. We do give that detailed feedback um, because we take an interest in all of our learners so we can help them become more confident in, su in supporting their business uh, in the approach to using digital and social media marketing. So, you know, we, we find that that's the most um, valuable aspect is our feedback. Now, the assignments and projects do include a WordPress website creation. That is one of the projects. Now, just having a look at the assignment, here is a list of some of the assignment topics. As you've heard, some of the topics ask you to be quite creative and some draw on your knowledge and understanding. Um, this isn't a definitive list, it's just some indication of what the topics are within the assignments. Now, as I mentioned just now, there are three projects. Um, the first one is carrying out a team task, such as organising others in a meeting for a purpose, perhaps. And that might also relate very closely to the second project, which is um, creating um, a website, uh, ideally using WordPress, as we provide the training for WordPress, but it needs to be some form of content management system of your choice. Now, this is going to be carried out over an eight month period, um, and that involves the process of planning, preparation, creation, and then analyzing. So, hence the team task might closely relate to that if you need to draw on other people's opinions during that process. Project three is later in the course, it has two parts, and you tackle this um, first by creating a marketing audit. And then you then, this part B is carrying out a marketing strategy based on the audit. Now you do this for a scenario, but all the skills you learn can be transferred to your own business. The research task is looking at some research into employment law and particularly looking at the digital marketer roles in a business. So I hope you find that interesting. And Again, if you've got any questions, particularly about the um, what we've covered so far, you can email um, Mary and the email will be at the end. So I'll pass back to Mary, who's now going to be covering the aspect of um, time. So, ooh, I should say. Sorry. No, I've... Previous one, that's it. <laughs> missed a web, I missed a slide there. Okay, so time. Now, you know, you need to be aware this this is a demanding course we have an awful lot of content to cover um and an awful lot of learning and um, to do you'll get a lot out of it um, but it does require you to put time into it we recommend um 10 hours a week um some weeks that'll be slightly more some weeks you may find that slightly less um it isn't one of those courses and i know i've been on them where somebody says you'll need 10 hours a week and you think oh, i could probably get away with four or five um, you probably do need at least the 10 hours a week, um, sometimes more. Um, and we recommend that split it over days so you don't spend 10 hours in one day um, because you would probably go mad. It will depend on your starting point, though, how much marketing you know, how much social media you know, um, whether you're, you know, I know people that do this course that are um, graphic designers, so they don't have to spend so much time learning how to create images. Obviously, you need to plan time to create to attend the webinars, one every three to four weeks. Um, you'll need to do the e-learning modules. You'll need to do the optional reading. Um, you'll actually need to do all the practical tasks, um, the assignment writing. And we'd like to keep in touch um, every few months to make sure that you're happy and you're on your right track. So type management is key. Um, you obviously can access the learning at any stage that you want, um, but don't underestimate the amount of learning that is required from the course. But then 
you'll get an awful lot from the course as well. Our support is, um, I think, unprecedented. Um, you access us through phone, through email, through Skype. Uh, I've, I use Facebook Messenger to support some of my clients. I use WhatsApp to support some of my clients. Um, it's really up to you what's going to work best for you. We aim to give you constructive feedback throughout so you know clearly how you're going to be progressing. Um, we give feedback through the portfolio, but as I said, we also keep in touch. We send out a monthly progress email giving you details about what you've achieved and what's needed for the company month. And learners appreciate you keeping, keeping um, having a structured approach. We do give you unlimited support. So we will give you as much as you need or want during the 15 month period. And some learners need a lot of support if they haven't had much learning before. Um, or they haven't been in a learning system for a long time. They'll need lots of support at the beginning, which is absolutely fine. Um, and then they find that they stand on their own two feet later on in the course. And that's perfect. That's absolutely how it should be. Um, we uh, also support you in your use of social media and digital marketing. So last week, for example, I was helping a learner put a proposal together for a client that she had just won or in the process of winning. So um, it's support in setting up the business if you want it. It's support in how you're using social media within your um, in your environment. Um, the program moves at a fairly fast pace, as I said. So if you do feel overwhelmed um, or you feel you're slipping behind, just contact us and we can work out the best way of either catching you up or perhaps um, it might be appropriate for you to submit your evidence in a different way. Um, you could record the evidence perhaps on, on a phone or, or you could do a screen share animation or something like that. Um, we do carry out an induction process at the start and we have a call with the, each learner during the induction to find out more about their role, to introduce ourselves, um, but also to find out how you'd like to support. And we like to keep contact with learners um, beyond the course. Now, we do have certain expectations of our learners. Um, we expect you to have a good understanding of what social media is. This is probably not a complete beginner's course, but you need to perhaps use only one of the tools or you just need to use it personally. Um, we'll be asking you to work through the e-learning materials to find out about the main channels to help fill the gaps. You, um, we expect you to manage your learning process. So you do need to keep an eye on dates for webinars and submissions of work. Um, we expect you to have a, um, a keep in touch and communicate with us if you're going to be away from your desk. And we do want you to put what you learn into practice. So you, you do need to carry out practical tasks to put your new knowledge, um, to test it out, see how that works for you. And you'll have expectations of us and we will give you as much support as we possibly can. So the benefits of doing it with us, um, you learn online. Um, wherever you may be, we have learners that go in at midnight, we have learners that go in at five o'clock in the morning, and that's absolutely fine, whatever works for you. We will give you detailed personal and constructive feedback. Um, many questions we ask about your business, um, so the response from us has to be relevant to your business, and learners do appreciate that. Um, I am using, I do use social media, uh, my team use social media, um, I've written books, um, I've created publications, I've delivered at conferences and events, and events, and I've shared my knowledge and skills in the e-learning materials and in the webinars. Guy's strengths are in mobile technologies, video and image editing, and also a lot of the legal aspects of marketing. And you'll see a great deal of us in the learning materials. We share many templates and useful documents, including the basis of a social media policy and social media strategy, and we encourage you to take those and teach people in your business and teach potential clients. Um, we want you to learn from us and then be able to go and give that learning to other people. It's an ideal opportunity for you to really expand your practical skills using a range of social media channels. The course also aims to give you theories and principles from a marketing perspective, um, which is very different from a lot of the digital marketing courses out there. We do hang it around marketing. Um, so you'll know why you're doing what you're doing as well as how to do it. And fundamentally, as we've said, you'll get significant support with us. 
The Diploma in Digital Marketing is a recognised City and Guild's accredited qualification. It's not a, not a tip box exercise. You will need to um, uh, do quite complex assignments. Um, so you will really learn and be able to apply what you've learned from this course. Now, the fee depends on your geographical location. Um, it's 2,820 plus VAT in the UK and Europe. Um, it's not, um, you won't have VAT if you're outside Europe. And if you're in the Caribbean, then please contact the Advantage Caribbean Institute um, and you can pay them directly in um, local currency, um, which based on the uh, exchange rate these days will give you a considerable discount. So what next? So our induction webinar, so the first webinar is on the 6th of October at 4 p.m. UK time. Um, so we would be great um, if you can join us. Um, if you have any questions, you can email mary at concisetraining.net. Um, you will need to complete a registration form, um, either directly from me or through the Advantage Caribbean. And at the induction, we will give you resources and you'll get a learner pack and you can really get started with the course. So if you have any questions, please do email me um, and we can have a chat. If you're not quite sure if it's the course for you or if you've got any questions, um, and I will also be sending out links to this recording um, and links to the registration document. So thanks very much for watching and um, I hope to hear from you soon.